Hello YouTubers, today I'm going to show you how to uh, do cleanse your brushes and for that I am using the Aloe Eye Makeup Remover. Can you read that? I hope it zooms in. So that's from the Sonia Collection, Aloe Eye Makeup Remover. There you go. Okay, what I do is you need a cloth and the aloe eye makeup remover you put it onto the cloth like that okay and then you start off with the brush that is least dirty and that's normally the powder brush and you just go back and forth back and forth like that Okay, there you see it's coming off. You can see the dirt. And you go over the eye makeup remover like that. And then onto the dry bit like that. Okay, to dry it off a bit. Okay, if it's still dirty, you will see because it'll make marks. And you just go over the wet bit again like that. Okay. And then you just lie it to the side and let it dry. The next one is normally the small brush that is dirty. Do exactly the same. Because this one is so soft, it's more like a kabuki brush. I hold it here at the root a bit like that and just go back and forth. If you think the cloth is too dirty on that side, what I'll do is I'll just simply turn it over onto the clean side like that and repeat it again into the dry side lay it to the side next the eyeshadow brush again just back and forth motions don't rub it too much don't go in circles because that will damage the <coughs> the brush okay. and then onto the dry side there you go perfect okay now to the very dirty ones and for that what I will do is I'll add a little bit more because I'm now going to do the foundation brush and also the lipstick brush so here's my foundation brush as you see filthy and <laughs> oops there you can see how filthy that is okay once again I'm going back and forth and you'll see that it'll come out because the brush will get whiter at its base this one is very very filthy what happened is I used it two days ago that big one and I didn't clean it straight away so it's got baked in a little bit so I just turned the cloth over and I keep redoing that brushing back and forth there you go to the dry side add a little bit more so I really want it really really clean <coughs> and just keep going back and forth like that this eye makeup remover is perfectly safe I personally don't use it as an eye makeup remover on my face simply because my eyes are very very sensitive I prefer using the um, <clears throat> it's called the exfoliating cleanser there you go now I've remembered so the exfoliating cleanser there you see my brush is now nearly done nearly clean this is a non oily eye makeup remover that's why it's fantastic to use on the brushes and now to the lip pencil for that it's easier to take 
the brush into your hand like this like this make a dent and just feed the brush through okay like that so it's a stroking motion like that you can do it the other way too but it's going to take you a lot longer if you do it the up and down motion as you see lipstick is coming off it there you go <clears throat> what I still suggest even if you do use the eye makeup remover maybe once a month it would be a good idea to wash the brushes with just plainly the aloe jojoba shampoo because that will also condition the brushes as the aloe, as the jojoba is a conditioning agent <coughs> sorry for that there you go just carry on like that just make sure it's all out there you go onto the dry side there you go lip pen lip brushes all nice and clean shaped up let it dry and now last thing remember me using these <laughs> hubby says they look like torture instruments <laughs> anyway just take the eye makeup remover and clean also the pad along here on the bottom because that will keep also the pad soft and flexible so you won't have to replace it as often as you otherwise would have to there you go cleansed all the brushes see you next time bye